Samantha Testa is standing by in the line. Can I go to her right now? Yes. I, I, I want to skip the break here and uh, not keep her waiting. Good morning, Samantha, councilwoman on the Utica uh, Common Council. Good morning. Good morning. How are yeah, you guys? Good. Yesterday, um, uh, you know, the big talk right now is the issue of, and I guess it seems some 20 people are circulating petitions. We did get word this is for the extension of term limits, so it would allow uh, legislator or council people and, and the the uh, the comptroller and the mayor oh. to run for a uh, for a third term, I believe. Yep, and the council president okay. would be for an extra four years. Okay, so uh, I, we did find out yesterday. I found this interesting that it looks like there's some people carrying petitions that are not Utica residents. At least one person who called us yesterday said they were or planning to carry the petitions, and they weren't a, they weren't a resident of the city of Utica. I found that kind of interesting. But uh, you made news yesterday when uh, you came out against the term limits and took it one step further. Well, you know, again, I ran for office the first time. There was eight-year term limits. Um, usually when people carry petitions, it's for a recall, not for an extension of term limits. And at, the first time I actually seen a copy of the petition was on the online and on the OD article. Um, I, I, no, one, I would no, no one approached the council. Usually, you know, if they involve the council members, they would come you know, speak to us, let them know. Um, the, the Republican chairman of the city did not have a petition. Um, I know my colleagues never seen the petition, so I don't know where it originated from um, in, in looking for the extension of term limits. Yeah. Um, are you are you suspicious that it's coming from the mayor's office? I mean, uh, 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 the administration, the Democratic chairman, um, obviously had a copy of the petition. He was quoted in the paper. I don't know where it originated from. Um, Bill Borrow was quoted in the paper stating that they had no involvement, um, but he did have the explanation of <clears throat> what happens if they do gather enough signatures. And I consulted with our corporate, our, our council attorney, and you know he's not too, um, you know, uh, let's just say he doesn't. He needs to do a little more research to find out what the next process is if, yeah. if they have, to, you know, if they get enough signatures. If it goes to the council. You know, do we approve it or do we not approve it? I mean, that's well, and I've, I, you know, I, I, to try and get it on the voter referendum. And I've heard this a couple different ways. I've heard that it has to be put to a vote. But but then we heard yesterday, maybe the day before, that um, it could be if the council votes for this change, it could happen without a public referendum. Right. And I don't think that's fair. I mean, I, I would if, if anything, I would think that, you know, if enough signatures are gathered, that it should go to public referendum. I mean, I would obviously I'm not in support of it. Um, again, you know, like I said, I ran for office eight years ago, or excuse me, six years ago, knowing that I would have eight years yeah, to okay. do the best job that I possibly could do. And, you know, if it comes to the fact that it goes to vote a referendum, then it's, you know, obviously leaves that decision up to the people. Uh, you did say yesterday that if, uh, if it is passed, if it, if they do extend this to three terms, um, that you're going to run for mayor. I might as well. I mean, you know, again, it's, it's the same people in office for, you know, eight, eight 12 years. I mean, you know, some people that you know, are, are are in office now, um, you know, have been in politics for, for years and years and years and years and years. And I think that, um, you know, when you leave that, that other extension, it just leaves four more years to, you know, to, to do, you know, what you want. And I, I think that, you know, if, if again, do I think that the people would vote for an extension? No. I mean, if you look at the state, um, you know, state Senate just passed, you know, getting term limits, you know, for, for state officials. And, you know, the, the, the president of the United States has eight-year terms. And I think that when you leave it longer, whether it's four years or not, I mean, look at the corruption that happens at the, at the state level with, with politicians that have been in office for 30, 40 years. Yeah. I mean, you gotta, you got to look at that. I mean, and granted, whether it's four more years or not, um, you know, that could be a possibility. It definitely could be something that, For me, you I, know, you've got you to look at. I, I like no, no terms, uh, no, no term limits at all, because I, it takes me so long to learn these people's names. You just learn somebody's name and they're gone again. And, you know, right. it's like, right. you, know. Well, again, you know, again, I think that I think that eight years, you know, you have more than enough time to, to, to do learn the name. To do. Yeah. OK. All right. Uh, you know, and, and Samantha, that's, just, that's just my personal opinion. And I guess if you look at it as a way of, you know, term limits or no term limits. What's four more years? You know what I mean. You get rid of term limits if that's what, if that's what your if your what your goal is. Right. So we have to quickly. I guess two comments and then a question. One, I would agree with you that this is something that's got to be approved by voters because you basically would be allowing the politicians to say yes, we can stay for four more years. The voters right, should should right. be able to weigh in. Uh, the second thing is, um, well, let me ask you this. If, if let's say, you or someone else thought the mayor was doing a good job or you as a counselor were doing a good job, what's wrong with saying, I want Sam Colosimo to stay or I want Mayor Palmieri to stay versus 
just bringing someone in for the sake of bringing someone in who's maybe not experienced, maybe not a great candidate, maybe wants to take the city in a different direction when many would argue it's on a good path right now. And I, and I, and I, don't, and I don't disagree with that. And I said that before. If that's what the voters decide to do, and you know, no one's to say that I wouldn't run for another four-year term. But to me, approve extension of my own terms just seems kind of a little bit selfish, and I, and I definitely wouldn't do that. And I guess that's the point you know, I was trying to make. Um, but again, you know, we, have, we, go, we run every two years. So, again, every two years somebody has the choice of, some, of somebody else. And I think that, you know, again, I, look what I've been able to accomplish in, in six years. Um, you know, so knowing that I could have a possibility of two years left, you know. So I think that, I don't know, again, it's, it's four years. It doesn't seem that bad of, you know, of, a, of, of an idea. But, again, it just, you know, for, for me to approve it, it just it, it wouldn't yeah. make any, any sense. And I think that, again, it would be up to the voters to decide something like that. But, I mean, as it stands right now, again, I haven't even seen, a, you know, a physical copy of the petition. I mean, I don't know who, you know, who, who would send it to the Board of Elections or anything like that. So, you know, again, because I just found this out this past week, you know, we, we were trying to work with it with our, with our council attorney to try and figure out, you know, what they would have to do in order for, you know, the council not to approve it and, yeah. and to get it to, you know, vote a referendum. Uh, all right. So at the end of the, at the end of this whole thing, though, you believe this should go either if it does move forward, it should go to a public referendum. People should be able to vote what? on this. Right, right. And there's no and there's no doubt about it. I mean, if that's the goal, if you have enough people that get enough signatures, I mean, it's 10 percent of the of the of the population that voted. So, I mean, you're looking at over yeah. 15 people that would have to sign the petition. Don't you and think, I think that it, it, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Don't you think that this would be really a referendum on Mayor Paul Mary? And, well, and, I mean, and whether people think he's done a, a good job or they would, because basically it's, do I want these guys, do I want him and everybody else that might be ready to term out, uh, able to, uh, do we want them to continue? Right, right, right. And that's, and that's, and I could, you could definitely look at it from that point. I mean, even, you know, I think that it, whoever did it, what did it, you know, did a smart move to not just include the mayor, to include, you know, the comptroller, the council president and, and the council people, but. You know, again, when the council people don't know that a, a petition circulating and they find out in the newspaper, I mean, it's kind of hard to formulate an opinion and truly understand, you know, what does this mean? Um, you know, uh, again, it would have been nice to, to know where it originated from and, and, and who was involved in it to have try you, and talk with them to see what their goal actually was. Have you spoken to any uh, council people, even if you don't want to name their names? But have you no, spoken I did, to I spoke with I spoke with several colleagues that had no idea that this petition was circulating. I mean, we heard rumors. Um, yeah. You know, again, you got to remember not even three months ago that, you know, the uh, letter was sent down to us to, you know, it, extend the um, the salary of the mayor and the comptroller. And then, you know, here we find out, you know, a couple months later that there now there's a uh, petition circulating for an extension of the of the, council, right. of the mayor, the council president, the comptroller, and the council people well, what I, what for another four-year yeah. term. What I wanted to ask you, though, is did, have you spoken to anybody that is in favor of this on the council? No, I have no. not. Okay. I think that everyone, you know, the people that I have talked to, their consensus is that they would bring it to, you know, the, for a voter referendum. Okay. And I think that if you, even if you look at the paving plan, I mean, imagine if we just approved that without knowing whether or not the people, you know, truly wanted that. I think that that was something that we had to, you know, we had to look at as well. And voters got to weigh in on this. This, yeah, this, was, this, was, this was actually put in for voter referendum back in 1993, and, you know, the voters approved for term limits. Yeah. And I think that, you know, back then and, you know, even now that, Again, you look at, you know, the federal government but with the gridlock that's going on there and the, and the corruption that happened, you know, even in the state government that, mm -hmm. you know, term limits are there for a reason. All right. Uh, interesting. And again, you made the announcement that if uh, if it does go forward and they do expand on term limits here and go to uh, to three terms, you are running for mayor. You heard it here first. OK. Uh, what, <laughs> can I ask you, can I ask you if it doesn't um, if it doesn't go forward, will you still run for mayor? I, I think I'm going to finish my, my terms as a uh, council person if okay. it doesn't get extended and then go from there. All right. Sounds good. Samantha, thanks so All much. All right. Thanks, guys.